Hi devs, in this video I'm continuing the discussion of technical interviews and I'm focusing on data structures and algorithms. So in most technical interviews you will be asked to solve a software problem that will require some knowledge of data structures. But which data structures should you study? Do you need to know them all? Do you need to know the intricacies of every one of them? Do you need to know how to implement them? I'll address these questions. So usually the questions that are asked in a technical interview have a simple solution that will run slowly and then a better solution that runs faster. For example, the simple solution may be quadratic or higher in its time complexity, while the faster solution might be linear or logarithmic. Now note that I will discuss time complexity in the next video, so if you're not familiar with it, for now just think about linear and quadratic equations from your math classes. So when you're asked to solve a problem in your interview, how should you attack it? The first thing to remember is that in an interview, a wrong answer is better than no answer. So don't worry about finding the perfect solution right off the bat. Instead, think for a moment and mention the first solution that comes to your mind. Then analyze it. To analyze it, talk through your solution and decide if it really solves the problem. If not, correct it. But then once you have a solution that works, look at its complexity or runtime performance. Be sure to do this analysis even if the interviewer does not ask for it. If they were just about to ask for it, they'll be impressed that you went ahead with it. If they weren't going to ask for it, well, they'll be impressed that you know how to do it and care about it. Remember, check the next video about complexity analysis to learn a little bit more about how to do those. So with some intuition about complexity, you should be able to at least guess if there is a better solution. For example, you should know that inserting into a sorted collection is logarithmic. So if your solution is linear or quadratic, there may be a better solution. Typically, if you state that you think there may be a better solution, the interviewer will probably confirm it and then ask you to find it. Once you're determined to find a better solution, how do you go about it? Well, in my experience, I have found that most of these junior level interview problems can be solved reasonably methodically. Interviews for more senior roles will likely be more challenging and require more in-depth knowledge, but for most junior level problems, you do not need to know very many data structures to solve them. So let me walk to the talk, let me head to the whiteboard and uh, go through this. Okay, so we're talking about data structures and I submit that there are really only, well, let me see, data structures. There are only three data structures that you really need to know in a, um, a technical interview. Those are the list, the binary search tree, BST, and the hash table. Now why these three? I picked these three, well the, they come up most often, but the thing that's important about these three is, the, is their runtime complexity characteristics. The list, most of the operations are linear. The binary search tree, most of the operations are logarithmic. And in the hash table, most of the operations are constant time. So those really, if you know those three data structures, you can get through most of the problems that you will be asked. Now, I have a videos, I have videos in, later in the series that talk about each of these in more detail and go through each of their various operations uh, that you can then watch and learn these. You'll need to learn these, data, these three data structures very, very well. But once you have that knowledge down, then what will happen is you are given a problem and you just go through. Let me see, list, can I use a list for it? Um, yes, okay, so I know that most of the operations are linear, sometimes worse, so then you do your analysis on it. If that one, and then, um, if that one doesn't work or if they want something that works faster, then you can try the binary search tree. That one's logarithmic, so it's faster than the list in most of the operations. So it's okay, does the binary search tree apply? And um, uh, then do the same thing with the hash table, and you just sit there and you just use, go through each one of these three uh, uh, data structures in your mind and figure out which one applies and works on this uh, problem that they're asking. With that, you can get through most of them. So I'm going to sit down now and uh, kind of demonstrate this in uh, an interview. Okay? So I'd like to go through an example of how an interview might go. My friend Kareem here will act as the interviewer and he will ask me to solve a problem. Now this solve a problem we're solving is pretty simple. Most questions you get will be harder. I'm just using this to demonstrate the technique. 
So go ahead, Kareem. Hi, Robert. Uh, suppose you're creating an app that manages a to-do list. Mm -hmm. uh, how would you manage uh, and manipulate the tasks and store the data of the list? Okay. Well, let me think. The first thing that comes to my mind is that I would create an object that describes the task. I'd give it an ID and a description, a date that it was created, and a completed status. Then I'd put these into a simple list and I would store them in that list. Great. Uh, and how would you add new tasks? Okay, so to add a new task, I would have to create the object and set it all up. I'd probably just add it, append it to the end of my list, so every new task just goes to the end of the list. And how this, would you mark these tasks as completed? Oh, okay. Um, well, to mark a list as to, uh, a task as completed, I would first have to scan through the list to find it. Uh, I'd be looking for its ID. I'd find one with the right ID, and then I would um, mark it as uh, completed. Now, I'd have to scan the list. This is linear, so I'd have a linear operation there. Um, I guess if the to-do list got really, really large, I might run out of memory and have to move the list around. But, but so there might be a better way to store these instead of in a list. That was good. Can you find that better way to store them? Okay. Oh, sure. Well, let me see. Um, let me go through my data structures. Uh, I did list. Uh, I could do a hash table. A hash table can look up and uh, retrieve in constant time, so that sounds promising. I would use the ID as the key and the, and the task as the value. The problem with a hash table, though, is that I can't retrieve the items in sorted order, so when I display them, it'd probably be in a random order each time, so that may not be the best choice. Um, since I'm going to want to have them sorted, well, a binary search tree is usually really good for working with uh, sorted data. So I probably would use a, bi a binary search tree. Let me see if I can figure out how that would work. Let's see. I would put the ID as the value in each one of the nodes and then um, uh, associate the, the task with that. And then I could keep them in sorted order and I could easily get them in and out. And the insert and remove operations would be order of, uh, they would be order of logarithmic. And so um, that sounds like a pretty good solution. Sounds reasonable. Why don't we make this problem a little harder? Oh, okay. All right, so that's it. <clears throat> that's how a typical interview would go. Now, obviously, I didn't fully solve the to do list problem. Um, since you know, we'd want to figure out how to sort them not by ID but by time order and all kinds of things like that. That's what the rest of the interview is for. This was just to try and give you an idea of how you might go about applying the, going through the data structures and applying that to figure out how to do a to-do list. So I hope this gave you an idea of how you would work through a typical uh, technical interview. So following this approach, you should do, be able to do well on most of your technical interviews.